we never know. Like, I don't have my other phone on me. All right. Do you I'll want me? Jeanette. I have my other phone like around the corner. Do you want me? No, because I can't see the comments now because, okay, everything's going to be okay. <laughs> deep breathe. Deep breathe. Drink some water. Hmm. Hold on. It's, I think we are live. I don't know yet. I don't know. It's loading. I never know. It likes to just go live in the middle of the loading. Hmm. Interesting. See, I never, I can't find the link to use the Zoom to go live. All right. Through. I think we're live, Diana Banana. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Hi, boo. <laughs> we both <laughs> are super cute with our headphones. And um, I think you have a cute little mic too. Where's your, um? Your oh, mic? my fuzzy buddy. Oh my God. How cute. Okay. I just got to change the background, but why when I'm wearing like all like red and pink? I love it. No. Oh my God. Okay. Guys, guess what? I'm here and I can't see your comments now because YouTube is a piece of shit. Love you, YouTube, but you are really a piece of shit. Like get it together. Um, we couldn't go live on YouTube, so we're live on Zoom. I can't see the comments at the moment, but I love you and I appreciate you. And before we get started, I wanted everyone to know that my brand new course starts today at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Diana Banana, that's Mrs. Banana to you. Diana Banana took the course with me. And so, bananas. yes. Oh, bananas. Sorry, sorry. Multiple bananas. <laughs> Even though she has a broccoli on her shirt. Can you explain like the situation? Food. Yes. Because Why is guess there what broccoli I eat? on the shirt? You know what I eat every day? Broccoli. Do you eat bananas every day? No. Oh, Diana, broccoli, though. It didn't, like, roll off the tongue as well. I didn't realize how obsessed I am with broccoli until, like, we really got into it. Okay. And it was my designer's idea, and I don't mess with an artist. Okay. Love it. Okay. Now, <laughs> let's get started because all my uh, fruity cuties want to know, first of all, you have a crazy story and we're going to get into it. Um, so tell us now what, why did you go vegan and what happened? What transformed when you went vegan? Wow. You want, you want me to go all the way back there, huh? All the way back. Wait, um, wait, can I make one arrangement real quick? Yes. One, okay. So <laughs> you guys all see. Yeah. Hold on. This isn't going as I practiced. Oh my God. And I'm going to put on the Diana Banana shirt. Diana you have Broccoli to eat shirt. Fruit to be cute. Yes. Yeah. But if you look at every detail in there, it's so finite. Like, do you see it. the coffee cup? What does it yeah. say? Gratitude. Mm -hmm. Is that not perfect? Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it also came with a beautiful little keychain. And it also came with a cool sticker that says, act justly, love mercy, walk humbly. Listen, mm. that woman who made that shirt is so easy to fall in love with. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you just easy one to fall in love people. with. Now, tell us now, why did you go vegan? What's going on here? Um, I actually was trying to lose weight. And you know how fond you, I know how fond you are of juice cleanses. <laughs> <laughs> But after three days of that and losing, I think, maybe 17 pounds and ready to chew on the couch. <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't like it wasn't good looking weight loss. I told you this before. If you're going to go on juice cloths, a juice uh, cleanse, you're going to look like crap. OK, you might lose the weight. Say it louder. Say it louder. You go to look in like the back, crap. You will look like crap. It will not look natural. You will look sick. So, yeah, I might have lost some weight, but I also wanted to chew on the couch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that's not even like getting into the medical issues. So I Googled, because you can find everything on Google. How do you lose weight without losing your mind? And I found Dr. Doug Lyle and Forks Without Knives, and he actually goes through it. And then Chef AJ, and then Dr. McDougal, and then Dr. Brooke Goldner. And Jeanette, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. It, vegan. Okay, so you go through all these processes. But within weeks after going just whole food plant-based, that's not raw. You know, that's not uh, Dr. Brooke Goldner smoothies because we'll get to that. Just 
just cutting out all the animal products within, I think it was like six weeks, my chronic headaches that I had for over a decade were gone. I had neuropathy in my hands and feet. That was dissipating. I could sleep at night. When it started to rain, I didn't know because my joints used to hurt so much. And all of a sudden when it rained, I didn't realize it because my my ankles and my arms and my um, my knees and my elbows didn't hurt. And they always did before. Always, whenever it rained. And that was gone. I had no dairy in my body. I had no meat in my body. So all that, so that was, um, and then at six months, I just kept getting better and better. Remember, my whole idea was losing weight, which I was doing. And you lose an average about a pound a week if you do it in a healthy way. And I, so I was losing weight and I was doing it in a healthy way. And I was also losing all these other diseases, all these other ailments I've had for like a decade. And then it got to be like August. Okay, so I went vegan March 3rd. Uh, 2021, by August, the only thing I really had left was uh, I suffer from multiple sclerosis and optical neuritis, my right eye. And I was pretty much told I'd be blind by the time I was 50. And by the time I went plant-based and went vegan, I was, you know, 44. And I still didn't gain my peripheral vision, which is what I lost. I lost some color, color vision completely. So colors were a little off for me and I lost some peripheral vision in my right eye completely. So over here, I couldn't see this out of the corner of my eye. It was completely black. It was gone. Well, I started, I stumbled upon Dr. Brooke Goldner and her protocol with her green smoothie and raw vegan. And I started on that about mid-August. And by October, I think it was, it's my nephew's wedding anniversary, which I can't remember. I think it was like October 21st. We were coming home from the wedding. I went to go put on the seatbelt. And I'm like, wait a minute, there's something over here. Why that? Why can I see the seatbelt? I can see the seatbelt that I was putting on because I was in the passenger seat. My vision was completely back. Completely. Gives me chills thinking about it. it this is crazy. Yeah, it was it was amazing. And I and then so I waited though because I thought, you know, I gotta be crazy. There's no way. So that was September. I made an eye doctor appointment. Um, my eye doctor looked at it in December and he's like, yeah, he's like, it's not unheard of, but it's not often. He's like, just keep, keep doing it. You're eating. He's into pineapples. Everybody has a different fruit. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's like, just keep eating. Did you do pineapples? Pineapples level. I grow my own pineapples, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, just keep doing it. He's like, your eye are actually getting better. Just keep doing it. So now my eyes were 2040 and deteriorating right eye. Now they're 2020. It's my right eye is 2025. Oh. I have full color vision back. You can see like a, a medical professional can see where the lesion is, but it's like inactive. Uh, um, wow. In 20, yeah. I wanted to ask you real quick about the neuropathy because I, I wanted to know what are some of the symptoms that you had in hands, your hands and, and needles and hands and needles and numbness in my hands and feet. So oh, I wow. uh, pins and needles. So pins and needles consistently and numbness where so it's like pins and needles. So it's I feel it, but it's uncomfortable. It's prickly or I don't feel them at all. Like some of my toes, I couldn't feel at times. Wow. Like my, my and that went away. And oh, yeah, that went away within like the first six months. Just wow. cutting out animal products. <laughs> it's just gone. And so, yeah. okay, wow, that's incredible. But it was when you finally discovered Dr. Brooke Goldner and the high raw diet. That's when the eye, that's the when eyesight that happened, came right? back. Yeah. Yes. And she'll even tell you that I, I love her protocol. I love raw vegetables. Okay. And I could give you a story from about a month ago. My boyfriend, who is not vegan or raw. I don't know. I might be working on him some. Because he looked at me, not even a month ago, and he's like, you look absolutely incredible. He's like, you look absolutely phenomenal. And I said, honey, it's the vegetables. I said, it's the raw food. My body knows how to respond to this. It's doing it again. I mean, look, you've seen my arms. Let's see. We Didn't can't it? really see. We can't uh, really. Let's get a little. going to let me zoom. Zoom, zoom me. <laughs> zoom, zoom me. Yeah, baby. Yeah. And I, I was doing, um, I was doing uh, one of these, uh, presses 
And I actually get, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> Let me put you back over here. I'm getting a muscle here and a muscle here. This is the one you want to name. So it's not there yet. We're getting there. We're getting there. But it's like, he's like, you look phenomenal. I said, it's vegetables. Body knows how to respond to that. It doesn't fruit know how to respond vegetables. to chemicals. What's fruit that? And, fruit and vegetables. And, right? Fruit and vegetable. Yeah, it's yeah, the okay. raw food. Yeah. Yeah. Your body knows what to do with that. Medication and pills and poison. Your body doesn't know what to do with that. So I've been medication free. Because I, I know you're probably going to ask this soon. I was on five medications in 2021. I've been on zero since 2022. So it's not Whoa. like I just left them yesterday. I haven't been on any. And I'm complete bill of health. Uh, this January, this past January, I just had the best blood work I've ever had since like puberty. Like no antibodies, nothing. My iron was nailed. I nailed my because iron. You took the, because you took the food addiction freedom course, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So now the, <laughs> well, the... a couple months, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's get into that. Now, first of yes. all, you showed the muscle, you showed the situation here. Okay. You name in, you be naming new muscles. Now, part of the course with me is, and yeah, you've only been, it's been like seven weeks since the course. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we've been working out together for like seven weeks. So now yes. tell everyone what is it like? And you've been so consistent. You've been on it and you have a full-time job. And you oh, are. I work nights. Yeah. So remember, I was waking up. I was setting an alarm clock to wake up at six forty-five, so I could roll out of bed. This is probably the freshest you have ever seen me. <laughs> I actually slept and I showered. She was, yes, yeah, she was in her bathrobe <laughs> getting up for the course. I mean, so many people tell me, oh, they can't make the time because they live in a different country or because of this and that. But like, you literally woke up in the middle of the night, in the middle of your night to mm -hmm. do the course. And not only that, but I saw you with the notes. You were taking notes. I saw I'm actually, you. Because I'm meeting with Jeanette and that's all my brain said is get out your notebook and I have a pen. I'm ready. So if there's anything else you need to tell me, let me know. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> you are really one of my biggest inspirations, Diana Banana. So now tell me what was it like to work out? We work out together three to four days a week. Three days is hit and one day is yoga. You show up sometimes. You showed up yesterday, so I'm proud of you. <laughs> but what's it like to work out with me and everyone? Oh, it's it's wonderful. The The best part about Jeanette is that she can hit every level. So if you're just beginning to work out, and, I, and actually her yoga, I don't know any. I've never done yoga before in my life. So I, these new names for things, to, I have no idea. I'm like, you're doing doggy what? You know, so... <laughs> She wants you to do a downward style, dog. But My mind went down, somewhere yeah. else. So, okay, just the exercises alone. I'm like, you want a downward what with me? What? On camera? Okay. So no, but she knows some people are beginning and some people aren't there. And some people are like me where they do jumping jacks waiting for her to tell everybody else what needs to be done. But mine's a momentum issue and that's why I do that. So I, I have to keep going because if I stop and take too long of a break, I'm really lazy. I know that's shocking to you and probably anybody less, but I'm really lazy. If you let me have too long of a break, I'd stop done. <laughs> so mm. I'm done. So I just, I have to keep it going, but some people need that five minute break and you recognize that we need time to fix our wig and get a drink of water and take a couple <laughs> breaths and put ourselves together. No, I love the reason I signed up for more workouts is because I love your workout program because you use what you have. As long as you keep moving and you stress that over and over again, do what you can use what you have. I, I like, I hear that in my sleep. That's like downloaded in my brain. I love use it. What you have do what you can. And use listen, what you have, do what you can. My boyfriend's like, you know what I was thinking? I said, use what you have, do what you can. Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and Every listen, you bit. have really inspired me because you got me into wearing the weighted vest. And you also pushing, pushing everyone in the group because you are working out while everyone's on a break. Everyone's drinking water every, and you're still going. And that's inspiring to me and everyone. So I want to say thank you so much for showing up and just doing you and being such an inspiration. And that's your YouTube channel, I think, right? Inspiration, motivation, motivation faith. faith. Yeah. So if I'm not going to motivate you, then I'm going to inspire you. And if I'm not going to motivate you or inspire you, then at least I'll get you to have some faith. Yes, yes, yes. So everybody, I'll leave her links below to her YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Um, okay, so Diana Bananas works out with me. She's getting me in the best shape of my life. 
Okay. It's, I and know how much you love that vest. I fucking hate it. But you know <laughs> what? You know what? The things in life that it's a love hate relationship, you know? You know what? I, I will tell you a quick story. Tell I don't me. I want to take too much, just a little one. My life coach called me out because of that damn vest. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, I went and got a six pound vest, you know? And she's like, Diana, wait, wait. I thought you weren't competitive. I said, I am not being competitive. I am pushing myself and anybody around to be their better selves. And she goes, oh, oh, so you're not competitive. It's not comp competition as long as you're winning. <laughs> I was like, damn. Oh, that's good. That's good. She just, this is why Diana has a life coach. Okay, okay so now, Diana good. Bananas, can you tell me, um, because you're very knowledgeable in eating healthy. You're very healthy. You're very knowledgeable in the lifestyle. You've taken courses with Dr. Brooke Goldner. You know about the pleasure no, trap. I didn't take classes with her. I just kind of hung out with her. No, you took her course, I thought. No, I never took her course. Oh. When I went to Boston in June, that was the first time I ever met her. No, I read her books and watched her free you, content. I'm I a see. cheap ass too. I mean. Well, <laughs> you invested in yourself. You took my course. So now because my question is. I wanted is, yeah. to show up for me. And that that's was my question. you taught me. That was my question. Why did you invest in yourself and take the food addiction freedom course? You know, it's really funny, Jeanette, because I thought I was just going to go hang out with you and we were just going to have fun. Because I think, you know, I think you're adorable, right? Thank you. So I was just like, I had to hang out with this girl. I love her. I just have to hang out with her. Um, But then as I went to the course, and again, like everybody signing up, we think it's about food and your relationship with food. And it's so, it's so much more. Like, it's so, so much. Okay. Uh, I wrote some notes. Uh, so I gained... You come, and what nobody realizes is that you come with an entire community that you built from the ground of nothing, from being some New Yorker, you know. I'm in Philly, I can say that. We're like sisters, you know. <laughs> so you built an entire community, and you come with that community. So you have an entire community. I have an accountability partner who is just absolutely phenomenal. I see potato. I love, love, love my Salim. I have a story about that anyway. And like the, you were in the class with me. There were such deep friendships and commitment. We were all committed to each other and the course. And if somebody started to fall, they took that line. I know there was a couple of women that were from the military along with my girl, but it's like, we're only as strong as our weakest link. So what we did is we pulled our weakest link, whoever that was. And that was somebody different, depending on the situation that they were in. We pulled them, we pulled together and pulled them out of the rut and brought them forward. And that's how we all even completed the class because we just kept pulling each other into it. I love that. And you know what, Dana Bananas, you are, you are such a big part of that because you don't give up on people and that helps people not give up on themselves. You know, like we need in the beginning of your healthy journey, right? In the beginning where you're changing your lifestyle, you're starting to work out. Um, you know, it's not the beginning for us, but like in the beginning for people, that's the hardest fucking part is the beginning and like the the changes and pushing yourself when you don't see results. So to have somebody like you on, you know, having my back on our side, that's what the course is about. It's like all, all types of people from all walks of life come together and we help each other um, with our talents and gifts and abilities you know and one of your talents is to help motivate people push them and let them know that listen it's going to be okay and look mm -hmm. at what happened to me and this can happen to you you know you had you have healed so many things and there's so many people out there that are hopeless and so um can you give people some like hope to hold up what can people do to not quit in the early stages in the beginning of their journey <laughs> remember why you started i mean like why I, I know you've heard a million people say this a million people remember your why your why should be deep and dig you know and it's just to give you a hint i i don't have children nobody is going to take care of me or well my niece promised she would if i can't wipe my own ass but <laughs> that's besides the point but that's like i, I have to age gracefully because I have nobody to lean on. You know what I mean? And I don't want to have to ha be so busy. Life is so, how can I put this? Look, I'm only five foot. So life is really short for me. Okay. Because I always have that. Ching. 
<laughs> you know, I am part comedian, right? <laughs> you know what? I have a joke for you. Um, <laughs> you you know why you have to hand it to to Diana Bananas? Why? Because she can't reach it herself. Oh, <laughs> oh. sorry. Oh. Okay, let's six, uh... six pound six pound vest tomorrow. Uh, I, right, fuck, right? I fucked up. Okay, yeah, so twenty five pound weights, right? <laughs> Is that what we're doing? Right. Listen, What's you don't want to work out. You don't want to work out with Diana Bananas because she will fucking push you, and it'll be so annoying. And guess what? You're going to get in the best shape of your life. Hey, you know get what? Though? I gotta say this. Um, results are at the other end of consistency. Ooh. I got that from a Think wise woman it. that's staring right at me. Think uh, about it. Now, okay, so <laughs> we'll get back it. to the course because you know okay. you have a lot of wisdom, and I know you have to go because you actually do a live at one yes, o'clock. But- on but your one o'clock, it's twelve thirty. My okay. alarm will go off fifteen minutes before. So good. So now, everyone, I'm gonna leave her link below. Go to her live at one o'clock. She's going to be uh, putting some faith into your life that you might <laughs> you might need. It's actually okay. day fifty of Genesis. Where well, it's a devotional. I love it. So I'll we also do our daily bread. Yeah. Um. Oh no. I, what was I saying? I don't remember what we were talking about before. Well, we, decided we were. To crack well, jokes. we were talking about the community that you formed. So the friendships and your accountability. So you like your accountability partner? Oh my gosh, she's amazing. She's amazing. Isn't she but a gem like, on earth? See, I thought I was, but then no, I met two her. gems so, come together. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There we go. There we go. No, it's great. I I do have a small story, and it's actually. It, it might help somebody with their transformation if they're changing, making a lifestyle change on how to deal with people around you. And actually, she said something that was absolutely remarkable the other day. She said, my consistency shows everyone around me how serious I take this. Woo! And I was like, Say damn, it girl. Again. Say it again. Woo! My consistency will show everyone around me how serious I am. Oh, that's and good. It's so interesting. Like I told you the other day, I came home. Oh, you might have missed that when you came in the workout. But my boyfriend was on the bike. He was he was biking away, doing. A, he's now eating three cups of fruit, no problem. He oh, he like, wants oh, to be a sexy fruity too? cutie too. Uh, he wants to be a sexy fruity cutie too. He getting jealous. He getting jealous. Well, okay. he's but he but he's also getting it. Okay, so when I started this course and I told him I was getting this food, you know, I'm taking this food addiction class, blah, blah, blah. And my main addiction is like salt and savory stuff. The next day, he's like, I bought a Whirly Pop popcorn machine. And I'm like, (laughs) and he's like, but, but it doesn't come with real butter. It's vegetable oil instead. I'm like, (laughs) he didn't get it. He didn't get it. Then last night, it was the end of our night. We went to the movies. We did like an anniversary thing because that's when the showing was of the show that we were watching and I go into the pantry. Now I didn't do anything. Okay. But I thought about it and I'm like, Ooh, there's a half a box of crackers that you're not eating. Don't ask why we have three different kinds of crackers in the house. I know it's my fault. Okay. And I'm like, you're not eating these. Maybe I should finish them off. He turned to me and said, or maybe you should call your girlfriend, Selena and ask her how much a plane ticket is from LA to Florida or LA to Philadelphia. So she can come and smack you upside the head because that's your deal. Isn't it? And I'm like, damn, what happened to you? Oh, <laughs> what did I do? Shit. Yeah. Yeah. So Yo. he went getting a whirly pop popcorn machine, not understanding what I'm about to now suggesting when I call my accountability partner to fly. Because our deal is if I break or have too much of a crave or whatever, I have to buy her a plane ticket from L.A. to Philadelphia so she can come here and smack me upside the head. But y'all I two are so cute together. Y'all two are I so created cute that discipline. Remember, Jeanette, because I'm already disciplined and I already hold myself to a high standard. Well, she is now holding me to that high standard and she is holding herself accountable to that high standard. So all we're just trying to do is be better on where we want to be. Yeah. Isn't that the truth? And isn't that the goal of every relationship in your life to meet people that help you bring yourself to a higher standard? Because, you know, you could have been fine just eating whole foods, plant based. OK, no problem. And, you know, once in a while having, you know, vegan brownie. I, I don't forget about that. I don't forget about that. <laughs> that was the first oh, no, no. week. And I still blame you because you're like, you can go down this aisle at Whole Foods and you can buy. 
<laughs> like, yeah, maple syrup or cacao or whatever. Yeah. No, I blame yeah, myself I too. The big and brownie. <laughs> okay. But listen, but now you at a whole different level because of your partnership, your dedication, your consistency. And you know what? You working out hard. And actually, you don't really like when you think about it, you putting in hard work, you doing crazy planks and push ups. You're like, you know what? I don't even fucking want that brownie like that brownie not going to help me. at all. You know all. what? I, yeah, I was at I'm at Whole Foods every week because that's where my mother in law gets a lot of her like, groceries that I shop for her. And it does put me down aisles that I would never choose to even go down. But I'll tell you what, I didn't even think of that vegan brownie. I just walked. I, I I think I even walked right past it like three times because I was looking for his freaking crackers. But that's besides the point. But anyway, but I'll yeah, tell you what, I don't I don't want it. Why would I want something like that? Because that didn't give me this. That didn't give me the body shaping I'm getting right in here. That didn't. I'm working. And I think my accountability partner and I were talking about this. I don't know. One of the first times we met. Why would we give all that up? We just spent six weeks being raw, working out showing up being accountable for ourselves being consistent for ourselves and putting the work in we're not gonna throw that out now i love not that now. and i love you too i seriously love you too um and i just know you guys were meant to meet and everyone in the group the universe doesn't make any mistakes so everybody that joins is joining for a reason it's part of their divine like walk here on earth mm -hmm. right their destiny so now last thing, because I know you have to go and I'm going to see you on your channel. I'm going to be there live. Um, I'm curious, who is this course for? So it starts tonight. If anybody's interested, I'll leave the link below. You can go to misfitvegan.com and you can check it out. Um, all 10 spots have been filled, but I will be um, allowing one more person to join in case they want to. OK, so if anybody's really interested, you can check it out. And now so I'm wondering, Diana Banana, who do you think this course is for? And did you learn anything that you didn't know? Before you join, uh, you know what? <laughs> and you're going to laugh at this because we were just going through it. The power of deep breathing. Right. I would have to be like, if I had to put it on a scale of like number one thing I learned, stop, take a deep breath. And then it's almost like a reset, even if it's just seconds, but just those set those quick seconds, just. I had to say that is number one. I can even, I have some of these cards and, and my last card is, you're, you'll love this. Smell your food, deep breathe, breathe deeply and chew longer. Mm. That's not even a card you expected us to have. But no, I didn't make you last, do that. Yeah. But it's perfect. Like, how is that not perfect? Those are three top things that we're not doing on a regular basis. So who this class is for is absolutely anybody. Absolutely. Well, anybody of the female species. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's so true. All this, all the bad decisions we've made in the past have happened because we didn't just take the seconds to breathe, calm down and, and refocus and just change our state because, you know, we never eat crappy food, unhealthy food when we're like totally aware uh, relaxed. We're like, you know, just like totally in control. No, we're eating those foods because we feel like out of control. We're too stressed. We're too busy. We're running around. We're like, we don't have time to think about what we're eating or like, we don't have time to fucking, you know, eat an apple. And that's a goddamn lie. And that's a goddamn lie. Right? Like you, Absolutely. what if somebody says to you, Diana, but I don't have time to um, eat healthy. What do you say to that? <laughs> well, I'm trying to be a better person. <laughs> so I, I'd probably just laugh at the moment but you don't have time for yourself seriously you don't have you don't have a couple seconds for yourself are you serious you have time for your parents and say I'm in that group where our parents are just getting older and at this point more help is needed um you don't have you have time for your spouse you have time for your kids my favorite line in your workout I hope nobody minds me saying this is some of you have pushed out a child. You're telling me you can't go another minute. <laughs> no. Be yeah. Because listen, I'm planking. Right. So we're up to me and Diana bananas. We're at a three minute, seven second plank. No joke. And um, with, with a weighted vest, with a mother fruity weighted vest. OK, now, Diana banana, before you started the course, um, how how long were you holding your plank? About a minute. OK, 
In seven weeks, y'all, three weeks, minutes. No, two weeks, though, you brought me up to three minutes. Remember, I start the plank before you do, so I'm actually it. Okay, maybe you my life what? coach is right, I'm telling you. <laughs> you know okay, listen, listen. So um, I'm we're doing the plank, and, and people are, like, giving up, and they want to, you know, give up, and they're shaking, and I get it, and they're like, I can't do this. But, like... You literally pushed a human through your vagina. Some, a lot of the women that join us, Diana Bananas, they like yes. have kids. So like, yes. no way are you telling me you cannot do a plank when a whole human came out of your vagina. Like, stop. I love that you said that. That is just, un- but and it's a mind so game. true. It's a mind well, game. It is. We play that on ourselves. I'm actually, I have my notes. So I have God underneath my notes. How, how nice is that? <laughs> so I, I have my notes. I have my notes for this course. And then underneath, I, I have a Bible. You said, you said something like that before. Yo, I look at those down, notes, wait. y'all. Oh, she was, <laughs> you're one of my favorite people ever that I've ever, <laughs> ever met because you took well, you it seriously. You have the coolest thing. Like you, I, I came to work. Yeah, I am not going to pay somebody to help me get where I want to be and not show up for myself. I know, you, right? I, this is like loaded with think of it. I'm going to have to watch the replay just so I have material for my own videos. Listen, so you came to work. You, oh, yeah, go on. One line you have is your body does the healing from all the foods you no longer eat, which is also good. Yeah, you came to work, but you also came to inspire. And so if you're inspiring people, you got to stay inspired. So that's why. That's why we got to feed our minds and we got to take courses and we got to work on ourselves and we got to do the planks mm-hmm. and we got to eat healthy because how the hell, how in the actual fruit are we going to inspire the world if we're not inspired? You agree? Yes, yeah. absolutely. hundred percent. And this is another one. You have so many good lines. Oh my gosh. I could have made so, so many you. more videos. Than so I did. do you. So do you. <laughs> you are worthy and deserving of love. Also, no need to be overcritical of yourself. Yeah, yeah. You don't even that's didn't gonna... even realize all this came from your class. No, but huh? because that's going <laughs> to sa- sabotage, you know, and my new course, we're actually doing something different. I'm going to make everybody do a tapping on worthiness every single day for six weeks. So listen, if you're in, oh, go on. Well, you have another one that went, and because it was one of the last activities we did. By the way, I finished my, um. okay, so for anybody listening, Jeanette had this whole forgiving people who wronged you or you feel some type of way and yes. saying a blessing for them. And I finished that last week. <gasps> Ooh. So yes, I forgave yes, yes, everybody yes, yes. and at the same, but I had to really forgive them. Some people I had to dig very deep. Some people, not so much. Some people, they should probably, I wish they forgave me. Um. <laughs> anyway, I, I forgot what I was saying, but yes, I wanted to let you know that I did finish that. But I'm these so exercises happy. that Jeanette's put you through for anybody listening, they're so worth it. I found it. You are determined by your own worth. And if somebody else has already done it, why do you think you can't? Mm. Yeah. That's one of the last exercises that you had us do. We are just like, just think of all the, just that. Hold on. Let me turn off the alarm. Yeah. Your alarm went off. I know. My alarm went off. So I wake up if I'm taking a nap or if I'm exercising with you, I know I have to like line up. What else do I need to wash up and get ready to pray? That's all. Um, so yeah, no, because the mind is always trying to find a way, the easiest way and the easiest path. So sometimes you end up self-sabotaging, but really you don't think about well, somebody else has already done this and you're, you're doubting yourself. You're questioning your ability to do it. Somebody else has already done it. So I can't, why not you is, should be the question. But again, you, your mind plays that trick on you. So you should be asking yourself, why not you? Why not? I love it. Yeah. Why not you? Because the truth is what Diana Bananas just said is the truth, which is millions of people have lost the weight. Millions of people have gone raw gone vegan. Millions of people are healing and living a totally different life and working on themselves and getting fit and feeling better and healing. So why not you? And so if you are interested, then check out misfitvegan.com. I'll leave the link below. Today's the day, baby. We start at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Diana Bananas, would you say it's worth it? Would you say it's worth it? I don't think you charged me enough. (laughs) Yeah, you know what? I got to charge your credit card. I got to charge it twice. You know what? I'm going to charge your card twice. Wait, wait. I have a small challenge for you if you're up for it. 
So if you're What's not that? wearing, if I have to t remind you to wear the weighted vest again from mm -hmm. now until January 1st, then you're flying me to Florida. As oh, opposed no. to, you told me that you were challenging me from now to January to show up to at least two of your exercise classes, or I was flying you to Philadelphia. How about flying my ass to Florida? Okay, you There's know what, guys? Listen, Be careful. I have, public, I have people in Florida I'd love to see. Be careful what you wish for, because I always wished that I could meet people that made me better instead of making instead of being around people that made me unhealthy. Right. Made me worse. So I was like, oh, I want people that make me better. So now what me and me and Diana did is I told her, OK, well, I know you work. She works full time job. OK. And so she can't show up on Mondays. I understand that. Sometimes she can. Sometimes she can't. Right. Like tomorrow, I think you're off. Oh, I'm so there with my six pound weighted vest, baby. Okay. I might even put ankle weights on. It's like that. Six pound weighted vest, and soon it's a six pack, six abs, six pack. You know, I'll what I'm saying? four. I'll be happy with four. <laughs> Listen, so then Diana Banana, I we were talking the other day, and then I was like, okay, well, I know you can show up on Wednesday and Friday. So if you don't show up Wednesday and Friday from now until January, you're flying me to Philly, and we're going to Arnold's Way together to eat a raw vegan sandwich. Yes. And then she was like, yeah, let's do it. And now she wants me to agree to, mm. oh, that's tough. Okay. Fine, I, I, take I, what, Fine I take the challenge. Fine, I take the challenge. I take the challenge. That's right, you will. I already knew you would. <laughs> We've worked. But can I take the weighted vest off? Um, sometimes I I'll show yeah. up with it. I just, I just don't want to be the only one reminding you to wear it. Like none of this. Diana's doing the replays. I hear. God, I hate that effing vest. I'm so <laughs> glad Diana Bananas isn't here to make me wear it. I knew oh, you'd hear that. That's why on. I said it. I knew you'd hear it. Because I knew you would do the replay, which, by the way, guys, if you can't make the workouts, we record them privately and I send them to you right after we finish. So if you ever can't make it like Diana Bananas, she works. So sometimes she can't make it. So anyway, um, I knew you wouldn't be there. That's why I said that, uh, because I knew you would hurt hear it. I knew you weren't there. Yeah, but you I got messages real quick, didn't you, on Sunday morning? <laughs> So listen, guys, Diana Bananas got to go. She's going to be going live in a few minutes on her channel. I'm going to be there for the daily scripture. And it is Sunday. So listen, spend a little bit of time with God. And you know what's going to pay off. Your ROI is unlimited when you have faith. And so I love you, Diana Bananas. You're amazing. You're so freaking cool. I'm so happy that we connected. And I'm so happy to call you a friend. And thank you so much for taking my course because I would have never met so many amazing people like you and Salima and Tamra and Kat and Liz. And... By the way, Liz sent me a video yesterday of her at a con at a festival. And she's like, she's in LA. yeah, she's in L.A. And she's like glowing like 24 seven. And it's just mm -hmm. like, wait, Salima's the same way. Oh, my gosh. Like I, Salima came on Thursday. She's like, I really like my skin. I'm like, yeah, I'm like blinded <laughs> because she's just like glowing. She's, she is gorgeous. The Fruity like, Cuties, let me tell you, if you have skin issues, the Fruity Cuties, they clear in their skin and they look in fire. They look yeah, so good. Yeah. You know what? Can I go over one more thing? Because because it has to do with one of your cards that I can't find. And it has to do with Arnold's Way. So in case anybody doesn't know, Arnold's Way is a all vegan, vegan restaurant. 98% of it's raw near me. So one of my vision cards says... How can I treat myself when I'm having a craving? And then underneath on the same card, it says, how do I treat myself without food? So for me, Arnold's Way is on my route. It's on my where my job is. But I drive a 25-foot truck and I can't park it on the side street and run it, even though they're trying to find a way to do it. That's besides the point. <laughs> so I drove back. To, that was, there, it was so great. If anybody's in Lansdale... Go to Arnold's Way. Free advertisement right there. I drove my truck back down, got in my car, and drove to Arnold's Way. So that was a treat for my consistency. So at the same time, the food was absolutely amazing. And I treated myself by introducing myself to people. And Arnold's Way is, is weird because there's a, a bunch of pharmacies around him. And there's a hospital. So when people find out their diseases and get this list of medication, they go to Arnold's Way first and then go to the pharmacies to see if they need to. But they go to him first to see if they can heal it through food. And behind him, he has a giant poster board of somebody's picture, their name, and what disease they reversed. And I think that's so important for people to hear. 
because yeah, I might have the story of MS and like thousands of other Dr. Brooke Goldner patients might have the same. But it's like they have never even heard of Dr. Brooke Goldner. I asked Arnold, and he's like, Yeah, I have no idea. He's like, I had a heart attack now. I'm better. But he knew who Mr. Vegan was, though. He knew, he knew Jeanette. Misfit vegan Jeanette. I'm the just water, and watermelon. He was so excited. He's I'm so not excited a doctor, but watermelon. I play. I could play one on TV. Okay, listen, um, Diana Bananas. I love you. I'm gonna let you go so you can go live. I love you so much. And you know what? That's a great idea. In my restaurant, Fruit is Life Cafe, I'm gonna have photos of my fruity cuties who have reversed diseases, and you're gonna be on there. Yep, you're gonna be on there. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, I love you, Diana. You're amazing. You're so beautiful. You're so I'm only inspiring. as amazing as the person that uh, helps me is that amazing. So thank you. Thank you so much. And I will see you soon. I will see you tomorrow. Boo boo. I'm gonna see you tomorrow with the with the vest on. With yes, the vest it's on. leg day. We got to get you some ankle weights. Oh god, I have ankle weights. Please don't make me oh. wear them. Oh. No, I shouldn't have told you. Forget it. <laughs> I love you so much. And you know what? Don't Let's go live again. These things. Let's go live again because you have another story you didn't even mention. You didn't even mention. Um, and we'll talk about that. You know what I'm talking about? You have a book about it. And we didn't even mention that. Whole... Well, wait, I was going to say another story. You mean there's there's many more. Yeah. I just gave you I had to give you a summary because of the or the short amount of time. We're going to talk here, about but... your teeth and how you overcame ah. your teeth issues and your whole she wrote a book about it. Guys, we're going to go live again. All right. So I love you and I'll see you soon. And thank you everyone for watching. Bye, Diana. Love you, boo. <laughs> You're amazing. So are you. That, that was amazing.